Hi, I'm Tanis Arledge. I'm from Hinton, Alberta. I'm 20 years old. I'm a young single mother. I'm half Cree and half Stony. From growing up and having all these people in my life who met me and come to know me, I've had things said about me that were more positive, but one of the main things that was said about me was that I was a resilient person. I have not asked for the life that I have been given, but I have coped with it in a positive way. It built me to be who I am. I'm a strong individual, strong independent person. Anything that I overcome, I take in positive effect. I don't dwell on it, more so be negative about it. I learn from every obstacle that has been given to me. I think my mother and my father had a big impact on that. Being my parents, they weren't the best of parents. I can't say that on a full term. They were great parents because nobody is a bad parent. It's just the choices that you make and their choices weren't so healthy and positive to raise children. So by the time I was 14, I was raising myself because my parents weren't in my life anymore. And my grandmother who was raising me, she passed away. I think that has a huge impact on being a resilient person for me because I had no choice but to grow up and be my own person, my own parent at the age of 14 and just dealing with life on my own, overcoming obstacles that most wouldn't be able to overcome on their own at such a young age. If there wasn't resilient people in the world, we would have a world that's full of negativity, people who give up, people who don't have hopes and dreams, people who just go on with life. If they come, if they come across a challenge, they'll change their path into a different direction, where so if they have resiliency, they would overcome these obstacles and push forward to be who they want to be. I'm starting my environmental technology program in September and my goal is to help the planet. I'm not sure what I want to be yet, but I've been told that that's one of the best ways to enter into college is not knowing who you want to be yet because you really don't know what you're going to come out as. My name is Tanis and this is who I am.